I'm Captain Monogram with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. This weekend we have babes on the bay. Going to be a lot of ladies on the water. Uh, right now we've still been coming out here in front of uh, Pelican. From this point all the way down, we've been catching good trout out here on these deeper rocks. If you'll look, there's some rock piles out here in about four, four and a half foot of water. Uh, first thing in the morning, there have been some solid 20-inch trout right out here. So uh, for everybody in, in tournaments this weekend, it's a good area to catch at that bigger trout you're looking for. Also, if you come on down, there's this little reef out here. If you come on the back side of it, um, live croaker, free lining, and work, work in this reef right out here in, in the front. Uh, good trout out here. Another good place to catch them trout are also back over here on this uh, compressor station, this little platform out here. Uh, first thing in the morning, there's been some good good sized trout, 18s and 20s hanging around this platform. There's also a couple more PVC poles out here. It's got a little wreckage, some more uh, platforms uh, off in the distance right here. All of this is good area for trout fishing first thing in the morning. Um, we've also been coming over here to Ransom. You know, from right here at Sunray Channel all the way back down to the point of Ransom. Uh, right on this edge where it comes onto this flat. All this area right through here in about four foot of water. Uh, live croaker has been the ticket. But all this area right through here has been holding good trout also. Once you get your trout that you need, well then you can eat with the southeast wind. Uh, there's some good little flats that come off right here on this edge right through here. Got good sand pockets. This area right through here is holding redfish right now. Um, we've also been catching ladyfish. It seems like right now if you got ladyfish, you're going to find the redfish. Um, they've been doing real well for redfish. So you can come back in right through here on these break rocks. And these areas back here by these uh, back little lakes through here, there's been black drum, there's been redfish, everything holding up in these sand pockets. But all these little back flats through here holding redfish. It's a good little little time to be up in here. There's one little island that's coming right here by the by the breaker rocks right through here. This little island, uh, we've been catching redfish all around it. You'll see that sand pockets, large sand areas through here. Uh, you got either Manhattan or Cut Mullet or Skipjack. Uh, been using pretty much free lining them. Cut you a pretty good chunk off of it. Put them up there in them potholes. Let them set. Don't move them. Just put them in the rod holders. And there's redfish all through here. Also, these little back islands uh, right here next to Sunray. Still been holding redfish. All these little areas in the sand pockets been doing the best. There's also been some black drum holding off through here. So if you'll see, if you'll kind of look, get up on your consoles or your or your towers, you can see them black drum uh, working the pretty good schools through here. Uh, dead shrimp with just the lead heads been working pretty well. If you don't get them there, you can come back out, and there's a little cut that runs right here in the sun ray that comes back on these spoil islands. These spoil islands, uh, live mullet, uh, live mud minnows have been working real well. Um, all your cut baits, you know, every day is different as far as what baits they want. So depending on what you have, uh, throw out a couple different baits and figure out what they want. And once you get them going, uh, you should be able to find what you're looking for. These little islands coming back here uh, in Dagger Point, these little islands, these little break islands through here, good areas right now to be targeting uh, redfish. So good areas to be targeting all kinds of fish. Out here in the middle, there's some good potholes out here in the middle. These uh, Sometimes they're not right on the spool bank. Sometimes they're out here in the middle. Good areas to target if you're not finding them right on the edges. Coming into Island Moorings, uh, all this little channel through here, black drum are starting to come in. Uh, they're kind of holding off on the edges. So this little this little turn right here, they usually just hold off right here on this on this curve right through here so this is good area to target uh the schools have been kind of hanging off in this deeper water up against these pilings uh good numbers of black drum dead shrimp or live shrimp has been working real well there's also uh, some oyster reefs that come out here and then come into these deeper little pockets 
Good for redfish and black drum all through here. Those of you with those shallow water boats. Uh, we've also been coming back out and coming back around in, in East Flats. Right through here, there's good big sand pockets uh, all through here. Cut Manhattan's been working real well. We've been cutting the tails off of them and just sending them out uh, with the tails off of them. But all these sand holes out here on the East Flats have been holding pretty good numbers of redfish right now. From quarantine shoreline, uh, working the outside edges, all this in, you know, four foot of water, all the way down to Big Bayou, all the way down to Trout Bayou. Uh, trout have been pretty, pretty consistent out here. You know, I start out a little deeper in that five, five and a half foot of water and then start working my way in. Uh, live croaker's been the ticket. There have been some black drum over here on Shell Bank. This is all Shell Bank from Big Bayou right here. Back to Corpus Christi uh, Bayou. Uh, up real tight, but then black drum been hanging on the outside through here. Uh, live shrimp or dead shrimp has been working real well. Once you get your trout, you can come back in uh, right here through the Klondikes. All this area has been holding good redfish right now on both sides, so... Work this reef, have your favorite baits, cut bait or live bait. Live finger mullets have been working real well. Live mud minnows have been working. Um, we've also been catching them back here on the back islands up against the spoil banks. All this area through here and these uh, sand pockets have been holding redfish also. So those of you in the tournaments this weekend, you should be able to find your fish all between Trailer Island, the Four Islands, and over there on the Klondikes. Uh, we've also been catching them on these chains of islands right through here. Uh, good redfish hanging on both sides. A lot of deep grass in here, but if you can get them in the sand pockets uh, and you find the bait, you should be able to find your redfish you're looking for. Those of you that want to get off the beaten path, uh, when you come down and you come right here to this island, Cook Island, out here in this deeper grass, there have been some pretty good trout uh, all the way down to this red buoy, that this red channel marker right through here. Uh, good trout through there first thing in the mornings. If I don't catch them there, I've been coming over here, what we call D-Mag. Uh, this big galvanized structure through here. Right back here, you'll see a bunch of pi uh, PVC pipes. All around them PVC pipes in this grass have been holding good trout uh, first thing in the morning. If you come back on the outside... And work this deeper grass in front of that structure. Uh, this flat right through here has been holding good trout also. You can also come back on the back back in front of Barry here. Work all of this area all the way down to this point. Uh, you'll just work this area through here. Being good trout all the way to this point right here. Once I get to this point, then if I get all my trout, then I'll start tying on uh, cut baits or even live mullet and start working these edges on this side right here And we've been catching good redfish There's a little cove that comes back around right through here That I've been catching redfish in this back little corner right here good area to catch redfish right now um, If the southeast wind is blowing um, Then also coming back on this other flat and working this this other flat right through here, been catching redfish on on most of our cut baits right now. Uh, we're going to have a southeast wind this weekend, it looks like. Portland shoreline up on this flat right through here. This time of the year, that them bigger reds kind of start coming and working this shoreline right through here. There's also some big trout down here by the piers. So all this area from uh, La Quinta Channel all the way down to Indian Point, Good possibilities to, to get into some good fish all the way down to Indian Point Pier right now. Y'all be courteous. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Thanks for watching. This is Captain Monogram.